it's absolutely crazy. There's been nobody for ages. And as soon as I start vlogging, a guy is gonna walk around the corner. Rosemary topping. It's a strange world. As you can see, it's raining. This was not forecast. Oh, it's that drizzle that's getting everywhere anyway. Enough of the complaining. Rosemary topping. More specifically, the other side of Rosemary topping. Now the observant amongst you will recognise the tree behind me if you've ever googled Rosemary topping. It's a lovely tree, lot of character. The image I'm after capturing, which is the aim of today, is this in winter. Now I've never been one to plan this far in advance, it's absolutely silent now. But I've come here for a specific reason to try to find what I want to stand when it does snow. Now it's not going to snow for another probably eight months. Positives, nice and quiet. Lovely leading line to the top, zigzag leading down with character. Some lovely grasses, all right. Some lovely grasses just in the foreground there. The, the, the ferns are obviously extremely saturated and green. You won't need your waterproof jacket Andy. It's not going to rain. Characterful tree, lovely leading lines. There are several little funnels into this wonderful wall where people have obviously walked through to get to a nice composition for the one here, one there for the tree. Now the tree itself is on the wrong side of the wall. And by wrong side, I mean the other side. It would be ideal if it was on this side. And you have to be very, you have to be quite um, careful with your composition because at some angles, it's, it blends into the background. If you want to use the wall to lead you into Rosebury Topping through the tree, the tree itself covers the zigzag track leading up to the, up to the, to the, to the pinnacle. Yeah, I think it's difficult to know where to stand. Here's quite well. You miss the bottom of the tree, but the tree itself is nicely separated from the background. There's no hill behind it, apart from the very low, low section. Nice separation from the background, so you've got lovely contrast between the dark tree and the white sky. But you kind of, your eye doesn't know where to settle. You're at the tree, you're at the mound, you're at the tree, you're at the mound. You've got two things on separate thirds and it's a bit jarring for my eye. On the plus side, the sky is much better than it was a few moments ago. There's far more contrast and I can see where the sun's going to set over there. Yeah, that's a lovely line leading you up to the top. So the rain ends in 40 minutes. So what are you looking for when you come to a place like this? Or what are you looking for when you visit any location? Planning wise, you need to know how long it's going to take you to get there. The route to get there. Any obstacles in between you and getting there, any roadworks. How long it's going to take you from where you're parked to your actual location. Not worse than arriving late and after sunrise or frantically rushing to compose your photograph. And working out where you're going to stand there aren't that many places that you can stand here to any stopping. Because as I said, you have to work out where you want to put the various elements in the frame. Yeah, I'm wet. Might as well get wet. At least I've got a pair of trousers so you can't get here. Because that branch at the right hand side blending into the tree, into the mountain. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, let's have a few, go a few photographs. I'm, the clouds seem to be moving in quite, quite rapidly, but I think they're quite low level clouds. The higher level clouds seem to be quite static. Right, let's have a go from, from there. Oh. 
On a positive note, I can have a beer. When I get home, that is. Camera's dripping. Wait well, it's a good hour in after sunset, <clears throat> but the sun's just broken through a cloud. Probably going to be gone quite quickly, but the tree from this side is absolutely wonderful. You've got the main trunk, you've got a little branch, really it's a lovely little sweeping line there. That's special, that is special, that is actually, that composition from there is actually better than the tree leading up to, up to Rosebury Topping for me. The sky's got much better, feet a little warmer, not as windy, just about finished though. I've got to keep reminding myself that it is a scouting mission and just like that the sun goes behind a cloud and the warm light has gone. Looks a lot flatter than it did a moment ago. You cannot underestimate the importance of light, of good light. Light is what makes photographs, ultimately. And I've mentioned this way back in probably one of my first vlogs about, again, I can see it changing now, about how light is really important. A lovely composition, a lovely photograph, a lovely scene in bad light doesn't work. It really doesn't work. I'd rather have, have an average scene with lovely light. I'd rather have both, but oh, the sound you make as a photographer. As the light's hitting the tree, it's casting a wonderful shadow behind it on the grasses. I'm not going to climb on the wall. I'm not going to climb on the wall. I'll get told off again. No. So I'm just about done from here. It's Semper State on a Saturday night. calm as you like. Yeah, I might actually take a few photographs from this side. Does it work? I don't think it does. You've got lots of trees in the background that kind of distract. You can hide the ones over there by moving up, but then the bottom of the branch crosses the horizon. Yeah, so Time to pack up, head back to the car, I'll be on by half past nine. So I'll wrap it up there. And I suspect the next time you see me here, will be up to there in snow. Obviously with the snow, the ferns will have gone. It should be nice and crisp and clean. So that's it, packed up, let's get home. Feed me daughter. See ya.